How's it going, Little Johnna family? It's your boy Little Johnny here. I'm back with another video. Today is Thursday, obviously my day off. Some of you guys already know that. Um, so I picked up the camera today, and hey, I decided why not film a video, not just any type of video. Video today is gonna be ten things I wish I knew before I started rapping. Yes, we're gonna do a video called 10 things I wish I knew before I started rapping so before we get into this make sure you guys do hit the subscribe button if you're new just go down below and hit the freaking subscribe button make sure you follow me on Instagram snapchat all that good stuff you can talk to me because I talk to the fans and I care about the fans but let's get into it right after the intro <laughs> Alright, so these are the top 10 things that I wish I knew before I started rapping in the 6th grade. Now, as 18 years old, I graduated high school, so but anyway, let's talk about what I wanted to know. Number 1, the first thing I wish I knew was, you're not going to be good when you start right away. Like, when you start rapping, like, hey, if you want to be a rapper, and you just started. Like, the first thing I wish that I knew was, you're not going to become, become good overnight. It's going to take a few weeks or a few months to become good. You know, practice makes perfect. Now, when you practice, hey, you're going to do it. You're going to get there. It just takes time and effort. The second thing is, sometimes you can't always, like, freestyle your song like, like if you got a song that you want on Spotify sometimes you gotta write it on your phone or sometimes you gotta write it on paper now the thing about that is now if you're doing a freestyle like a freestyle video then you ain't gotta write it down but if you want to do a song that you want to write I wish I knew to write it on paper because a few times I did try to do that and I messed up and I had to start over again for weeks. The third thing you I I wish I knew was if you rap, if you rap battle, you can't you gotta come up with the new roast. Now I know I don't roast people. I used I did before, but hey, we ain't gonna talk about that. Make sure it's a roast, not something that doesn't make sense. And yeah, I'm guilty of that. I'm gonna be honest. I'm guilty of that too, you guys. I'm literally guilty of that. I said some things that didn't make sense, and hey, some people laughed. Some people said I was trash. But yeah, okay. The fourth thing you wanna know. That I wish that I knew was when you first release a song, it might not be good. Now, I've talked, I've, well, I've heard a lot of artists say my first song wasn't that good, and there were some times where I did have to re record it. You know, sometimes I had to re record it, sometimes I had to sit down and do it 17 times to get it right the first time. Now, you're not going to get it in one shot. You know, all artists say that. You know, if you want to be inspiring, you're not going to get it in like one shot. I mean, that's why. And yeah. But the other thing, seven, the one thing that I wish I knew was I wish I would have started out like when I first started recording music. I wish, I wish, I wish that I stayed on beat. Because if you don't stay on beat, no one's gonna like it. The lyrics were good. It's your flow and the timing. You have to, have to, have to, have to stay on beat. If it's a slow beat, you gotta rap slow, just like me. If it's a fast beat, like, gotta get away, gotta get away, something like that, you gotta rap fast or whatever. But I wish I would have rapped on beat, but my other songs that I've written so far, that's pretty good. And I've gotten better over the years. A lot of people say that. You know, my skills are improving like a medallion. Now, number eight. Number eight, number eight, number eight. 
Number eight is get a mic. Don't be using that garage band BS. Don't use that garage band stuff. Get a mic and use the app Spire. You see, when I first recorded Jesus is my superhero or whatever that song was, can anybody hear me? I used garage band. I held my iPod up to my my freaking mouth. And hey, I didn't get good audio because of that, okay? I'm, I'm going to be honest. I ain't going to sit here and lie, but I wasn't getting good audio. That's why people said I couldn't hear you. Make sure you get a mic. If the cord breaks from the mic, get a new one. Invest to get a new one. That's what I did. I got a mic. I got the Snowball Ice mic. And y'all know already know how it is. Make sure you get a mic when you first start off. Your I was a freshman when I first started recording music. I didn't record music till my freshman year, until my sophomore year, freshman, sophomore year, and I, then I went on. So, yeah. But I got a mic in, like, my sophomore year, my junior year. That was my junior year I got a mic, so, yeah. But, yeah, get a good frickin' mic. Number nine. Number nine the thing I, I wish I knew before I started rapping is don't sign. Well, actually, nah, nah. Is be careful who you talk to that could get you a label. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did this. Some guy found me on Instagram, Teen Talent Media. My, fam was, my fans were like, no, don't trust him. He probably fake. You know, I he probably just knew and trying to be a new label, but then something's gonna happen. I'll be like, nah, he's gonna make me get signed for free, man. Gonna get, make me get signed for free, man. And I don't have to pay anything. I don't have to pay. He's gonna do it all. You know, him and so and another artist did this with me. I hope good. And I think if you watch this, you'll know that him and I, we actually did a collab on an, on a, uh, on an album. We had, and that was actually pretty freaking fire. He's from Canada. I'm from... You know, United States of America. But hey, we, we we actually did pretty good on an album. He just graduated high school too, just like me. So hey, we actually did pretty good on that. But the problem is the label stopped. Like like the online label stopped because I guess some guy had health problems. I didn't believe. I just thought, you know what? Yes, we're still signed, but I don't think we were signed at all. I think I think he took a picture of us took our picture and said, spotlight artist. But then if he had, next two days later, he had bad health. One of his workers had bad health. They didn't even get back to us in months. So I was tricked that way. I got played by the devil. Duh. Don't trust the label. Do not trust the label. Do not trust an online label. Do it yourself. Who listens to the radio anymore? You got what by YouTube. Number 10. The last thing you need to do. The last thing you need to do. That I wish I would have known is. Well, hold up. What was the number 10? Number 10. The one thing I would have known is. You ain't going to become famous overnight. You gotta build that fans, you know, like, actually, scratch that. Number 10 is your fans, find the fans that don't turn on you. There's gonna be haters. The number 10 thing is, I thought everyone was gonna like me. Not everyone likes my rapping, there are a few people that don't. Not everyone's gonna like your rapping, not everyone's gonna like you. You know, there's gotta come a time where you gotta... Understand that there's gonna be haters. Haters are gonna hate. You gotta stick with the true fans, like the people from the park, like Noah and all you guys. You, I love you all. You know, I got a lot of people, but haters, hey, they're gonna hate. Screw them. Screw off. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video today. If you guys like that, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below what kind of videos I should do. All right. Love you all. Little Jonah family. I'll see you in the next one.